times the charm. It keeps saying the SD card is corrupted and I don't know why. Hello, ColourPop haul. It's the fourth time I've said that and it's just not going. So this is going to be an unboxing haul for the ColourPop order I made back on Memorial Day. Today is currently June 8th, it's Saturday. I ordered this last Monday on the 27th when it was Memorial Day because they were having a sale. The only things I currently own are a couple Super Shock shadows that I got a couple years ago and I hit pan on one, my favorite one, which was in the shade Amaze. So, we're off to a good start. I expected it to take a little bit longer to get here because of the fact that it was for a holiday and they usually get like a lot of back order at that time and it takes longer to distribute and it was international for me because uh, ColourPop is based in LA and I live in Vancouver so ooh, so cute so cute it's nice and bubbly and packaged okay you're a peach love that I'm a peach so it's super cute I love this orange part it's got a nice little card in here happy birth oh it's like it was ColourPop's fifth birthday is that why there was a sale I thought it was Memorial Day but it might not have been um, so Loki, the packaging matches my little mandala table spread. Oh my goodness, so cute! Oh. So I have a new shadow in the shade Amaze. I bought my first highlighter ever, which is called Felicity Highlighter. And oh, shadow's coming out. And um, this is my old one. Um, a Lux lipstick in LA Lady, another lipstick in Y2K, and then an eyeshadow palette called Give It To Me Straight. So I'm just going to go in the order I said just now because I definitely remember. So a new shadow, another super shock shadow in the shade Amaze, which is the one that I love and I'm obsessed with and use constantly. Yeah, so it looks basically identical to my Amaze, like the container. Um, but the color pop on the top is scratched off of mine. They're the exact same color. Next, I got the highlighter in the shade Felicity. So the highlighters are a little bit, little bit bigger than the uh, eyeshadow packets. So this is yeah quite a sizable difference to the eyeshadows that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I can't wait to swatch this. It looks pretty pink, but it's also like gonna be hella. It's gonna pop. That's what the review said. If you want a subtle sh um, highlighter, the review said don't get this if you want a subtle highlighter. So I went all in apparently. Oh, and this is peachy pink. That's really cute. Okay. Next, I got the shade LA Lady, which is really cute actually. I love the packaging. It's like a luxe lipstick and it's got a lot of like rose gold colored um, packaging. And I just think it looks really cute together. And then on the inside, we have this star pattern on the actual lipsticks it has this really cool star imprint again so consistency in the packaging love it next we have the other lipstick that was called same packaging by the way that was called y2k where's the opening tag more ambulance and fashion. so it looks quite similar but it's a little bit more of a ready color um, why is the packaging like sticky? Is it my hand? I don't... Yeah, probably this. Anyway, it's a little bit more of like a dark red. I never think lipstick smell good. And for a second I thought it smelled like vanilla. It doesn't. Never mind. Okay, so these are the differences in the color, if you can see a little bit. Finally, probably the most exciting purchase I got was this little baby palette. Oh good, it has all the shades on the back. Oh, this is cute. Alright, so the inside packaging is pink. I mean, it's just so cute. It's all like reflecty and gold. It's like a little vibe they have, I guess. It's the rose gold. But yeah, these are all the names of the shades on the back. But oh, it's a Magna Close. All right, well, let's let's dive in. So we've got all of these different shades here. So I wanted a few matte shades this time because I don't have any matte shades. All of the ones I have, like I said, are super shock shadows. So they all have the shimmery glitter pieces in them. This has one, two, three, four, five, six mattes. And then the other six, oh, it's pretty nicely laid out. Six mattes, and then the other six are going to be shimmer. I don't know if they're the super shock shadows or if they're more uh, subtle. But like I said, the mattes are something I was super excited to try. And I really am excited to use because glitter is fun, but you also need to have some matte shades. So awesome that this now exists for me, and I have this in my possession. Oh, they're so cute. 
How deep is the pan on these, I wonder? We are burning daylight, so I think I'm gonna film the swatches tomorrow. It'll also come out in the same video, so don't worry. Next clip you see, we'll be showing some swatches. Hello, so we are going to do our swatches today. It's been uh, more than a day. I said in the last clip that I was going to film this tomorrow. It's not tomorrow, it's past tomorrow. It's like three days later, anyway. Why is this being so crazy? It just I just noticed I'm actually wearing something quite similar to what I was wearing a couple days ago. Like it was the geometric pattern and this is just like stripes, but it's quite similar. Please work with me here, guys. I'm not actually going to open my new little Amaze color because I'm finishing this one first. I just bought this because they were on sale. So I will swatch it from my old one, so just so we know. These shadows are known for being very creamy and the first time I put my hand into this, I was like, wow, it feels like it's like wet. Like, felt wet. One swipe gave me that. Yeah, it's pretty shimmery, it's my favorite color. It's why there's only a little bit left of this one and I got another one of. It's the only one I've repurchased because I've used it so often that it's so used. Like I've hit pan, right? So it's really, really pretty on my eyes. It's like subtle, so it's not like super red or super gold, but it's like a shiny, like more neutral color for me. So it doesn't show up as like really powerful. So it's just easy to put on the eyes and it just looks really good. Next, I'm gonna go all in on the palette because I wanna keep all the eyeshadows together. Each row. Fireworks? Construction? Like I don't even know what that one was. Okay, first we have the shade Matter of Fact. This little nude right here, not gonna use the wrong hand again. Oh, 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 wow, oh, wow, okay, all in. So it is a very pink, pink color. The next shade we have is up front. It's very, very shimmery. It reminds me of the ones that I typically use, like the Super Shock Shadows. Oh, I'm gonna like that one. Oh my god. Okay, so this one is far more, sorry for my swatches, like I don't do this very often, but um, that one is shimmery and also very pink, and I think I'll like that too because on my skin tone, the Amaze shows up really well, but darker colors become like way too dark immediately. So this one is gonna look real cute. Okay, it's quite, quite gold, but like nice gold. So, all right, um, the camera died on this one or it corrupted the file so um this one was called straight up i already swatched it this is what i imagined the fourth color bs to look like so it's interesting because it's quite orange and i didn't expect it to be that dark but i still really like it it honestly reminds me of the lala color that i have already so that's fun next we have bs actually so let's see what that looks like once you touch them also like they just start to like warm up okay so yeah this one's just far more because it's matte Okay, next we have, I almost said the wrong one. We have Frank, which is like more brown and also a matte. I'm really bad at swatching. I think I'm gonna like this color a lot. So I'm noticing that these are needing a little bit more than the Super Shock Shadows do because they're like more, I think they're pressed is what they're actually called maybe correct me if i'm wrong but yeah this one is a little bit it's close to this but it is a little bit more brown so a little bit um lighter almost because this one just looks more orange but like deep orange brown um so yeah different shades of brownish orange next we have candid this looks like it's going to be a very rich coppery color See if I'm right. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, see, the Super Shock shadows are the ones that have the most pigment, and that is definitely a Super Shock shadow. Like, I recognize that shimmer right there from the pots that I have over here. Um, wow, that one is stunning. Okay, I, I favorite so far, <laughs> I honestly think, because you see they're getting darker. This one also is definitely a um, Super Shock shadow, it looks like, but this, this one, maybe it's just because I actually, like, swatched it correctly with more of my finger but that one is stunning okay, next we have forthright which looks like very similar i'm really excited um in like pigment but also um it looks a little bit more like pink so let's see how that one went oh my god stunning okay i'm gonna clean up this swatch a little there we go that one is pink oh 
Oh my god, that one is so pretty. I don't, I don't really know what else to say about that. All right next we have this downright shade, which is another matte. There we go. Oh, it's like cakey. There we go. So this one also reminds me, like it's the same texture as the very first one I put on, like matter of fact, but it is um, darker pink, which I love. It's really pretty. Um, I've really, uh, because of the fact that I loved Amaze so much is why I, I drew towards this palette instead of something else because I'm not crazy venturing out of my comfort zone with like so many other colors. So this neutral palette really like spoke to me. Okay, on to the final row. We're starting with Truth Hurts over here, which is another matte shade. A little bit more orange looking, a little lighter than BS in the top right. Okay, I feel like these need more um, to warm up, like I need to, there we go. So this one looks like none of the other ones, but um, is more like a tan orange. So it kind of looks a little bit similar to these two, but it is the lightest of the three. So that one is definitely going to be pretty though because th none of these are very like crazy except for the super shock ones which I like because they're shimmery but yeah that one is really pretty so there we go I like the theme of all of these like I can definitely see myself using all of these colors next I have Be Blunt oh yeah okay oh this one is like a very deep rich purple let's oh oh wow this is gonna be wow <laughs> these super shock ones are like super crazy when you put them on your finger <laughs> Oh my god, so pretty. The super shock ones are crazy. Okay, that one might need a little bit more. I'm gonna clean it up. That's what it looks like with one swipe. And actually, it doesn't have as much sparkle as these two. So you can probably see these two and even this one up here are super shimmery, even this top one. This bottom one actually, not really. So this might not actually be one of their super shocks. I don't, I, I wish I knew, I don't. But yeah, this one is definitely like far more like it's not it doesn't have these huge sparkles in it but it's definitely also very shimmery sorry my sd card is having some issues so the next one was the um tmi tmi and this is what it looked like on my finger but i already swatched it on so it's a more like purple and pink combination but it's like a really pretty burgundy color as well it looks almost like red winey just like dark it's like a really rich color but it's not quite as pigmented as this one obviously so it's like it was more dry when I was putting it on, so like some of the other matte ones, because it's not one of the super shock ones, like you can see here where they just are like full coverage, like pigment, but yeah, it's still really pretty and I can definitely see myself wearing it. Finally, we have Actually over here and I'm warming it up a little bit with my finger. Maybe that's why they're coming out more powdery, but this one is the darkest shade of eyeshadow that I have ever owned. It looks very powdery because it's one of their mattes, um, it's probably a crease color for when I do or attempt smoky eye colors. Wow, okay, yeah, I like that one. So it it's darker than I've ever had, but it's like powdery. It's like a cocoa color, so it looks like chocolate, honestly. It's really, really cute, honestly. It's really pretty. I'm really proud of how this swatch lineup went. Like, I don't know about you, but this this was the first time I've ever done swatches to this degree for like a palette, so this is really like, I'm proud of this. Okay, so I'll insert a close-up clip of all of these put together. Um, I went from the top right, top left, across each row, and ended on the bottom right. And yeah, these are so pretty. I love the theme. I love how they all go together, and I can't wait to play with this palette and see what they all look like on my eyes because I've been doing more eye makeup recently, and it's just been super fun. So those were the shadows. All right, these look beautiful. The top one's a little light there, but focus. There we go. So we got all of the shadows here. Love the theme of these shadows. Honestly, they're stunning. Like I'm so happy about this purchase. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave these on because I don't wanna just like wipe them off right away. So next I'm gonna show what the highlighter looks like in comparison with all of these, but I'm gonna swatch the highlighter at the very top. So this highlighter was called Felicity and honestly that just reminds me of the Arrow character at this point. There's a lot more product to work with here. Love that. Okay, so this is go. Okay, see the the second I touched this, it was like wet and it was like spongy almost, which I didn't have with any of the shadows that I just touched in that entire palette. So, we'll see how that goes. I know this tends to be just like a brush product, 
um, like highlighters in general, but I don't, I don't have, I don't have a brush. So this is what I got. This is what it actually looks like on my finger. So it feels wet, but it doesn't pick up the same way as um, the shadows, but it's also looking more wet because it's, it, is a sh it is a highlighter. So never had a highlighter, so I'm not reviewing it as like quality of a highlighter, but quite pigmented when I pick it up on my finger. It looks like honestly just glitter, from when you look straight on, like pink glitter, and then when you look at it from the side, like here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but if you look at it from the side, you definitely see more of a overall shimmer. So it's really pretty. Okay, so the last products that we have are the lipsticks. So I'm gonna start with, which one did I do first last time? Lala Lady, yeah. L A Lady, sorry, I got it mixed up with the eyeshadow Lala, sorry, okay. Stars, the pretty stars. Okay, so ooh, I don't need it that high up for a little swatchy swatch. So I'm gonna put the swatch on my arm, my other arm, because I don't have any room on this arm, and see what it looks like. It is a lipstick, so I don't know how I was expecting it to go on, but when I try and put it over my veins, of course, it looks like a disaster. Okay, so this is what we've got for this. It honestly reminds me, does it remind me of any of the eyeshadows? No, I thought it would, but I went with a theme, obviously. Or it's just kind of my style, but basically, so my bracelets don't all fall in it. We've got this brown tone. It's also like a little bit reddish. I'm actually also gonna put it on my lips so we can see what it looks like on me because I'm actually also quite curious. Okay, first impressions. I do like it a lot. It looks like more coppery than I usually go for, but it's definitely, it looks, it looks like something I would wear. I'm venturing more into darker lip colors and I, I appreciate this one. I do actually like how it looks because I think that there's something to be said about a reddish brown color on me. I think it just suits me. Yeah, but it also looks like coppery. It almost looks... Does it look shiny? Like, I feel like it looks like um, like a shimmery, shiny lipstick. I don't know. How silly do I look with this giant thing? Also, I just came to realize just how tired and terrible I look right now. I'm trying to recover from not getting enough sleep two nights ago because I just could not fall asleep. So that is why I look exhausted. I didn't put a full face of makeup on because I was going to sweat it all off. But I also wouldn't normally do that anyway, so I didn't want to just look that different. <laughs> but yeah, so... Just wearing lipstick with no face makeup, hello. <laughs> All right, and the last product in the haul is the Y2K lipstick that I got. And it's the little, it's a little bit more red. So let's see what that looks like. Ah! The impossible swatch, yes. Compared to LA Lady, it is far more pink. And I think that I'll like this one too. I know I will, but let's see the difference of what it looks like on me. I just love the stars. He Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah. Looking from it further away looks better because when you look up close at your own lips, I feel like for me, because I have all the lines in my lips. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, this color's nice. This color's cute. Mm, okay. Yeah. I dig this. Well, I might as well just leave this for the outro. But, uh, yeah, so I really think I won with all of these purchases. I didn't get any single thing where it was like a dud or it, it was one that I just that kind of fell flat for me these all were really cute and really pretty love all the colors obviously because I won't dare take these off my arm but yeah this was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed making this video yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe this was really fun I this is not a typical video I make but I obviously will make more when I get things I just don't shop very often because I don't um, need a lot of stuff really honestly this time it was just because it was a sale and I honestly don't have that much um, eye makeup and starting to wear it more I never got it before because when I was an athlete I never really wore uh, a lot of eye makeup besides eyeliner and mascara so now I'm playing around with it more because it's not gonna mess up my goggles or get all up in my eyeballs so yeah this is this is our final and yeah thanks for watching <laughs>